divide this polynomial by the monomial, we'll have to use long division because this would be very difficult to factor. And the first thing is to take care of the missing terms. We have a y to the fourth term. Missing terms. I'm missing a y cubed term. I've got a y squared, and I'm missing a y term. Therefore, I'm going to rewrite this as Dividend divisor, dividend is 4y to the 4th, missing term of 0y, of y cubed, so I'm going to have a coefficient of 0 there, minus 2y squared, another missing term, 0y, I'm going to make sure I have the missing terms included, and I go about long division, beginning with 4y to the 4th divided by 2y, the twos cancel, that gives me 2y to the third. Writing that up here, next multiply. 2y to the third times 2y minus 1 is 4y to the fourth minus 2y to the third. Subtract that. Subtraction means adding the opposite. 4y to the 4th cancel out, and I'm left with 2y to the 3rd. Bring down this next term, negative 2y squared. Now divide. I have 2y to the 3rd divided by 2y. 2's cancel, 1 of the y's cancel. That's y squared. Writing that up here, and then multiplying y squared times 2y minus 1 to give 2y squared minus y squared. Actually, 2y cubed. y squared times 2y is 2y cubed. Subtracting. I'm going to subtract this from right here. And that is the same. I'm subtracting all this, so it's the same as adding the opposite. 2y cubed minus 2y cubed, those drop out. I've got a negative 2y squared plus y squared leaves me with negative y squared. Okay, negative y squared divided by 2y. One of the y's cancels, so that's negative y over 2. Up here, negative y over 2. Multiply that negative y over 2 times 2y minus 1. So I have negative y times 2y. That's going to give me negative 2y squared divided by 2. That means that the 2's will cancel. Okay, so for this first term, what I end up with is a negative y squared. We'll, I'll rewrite that in a second. I have negative y over 2 times negative 1. So that's going to give me plus y over 2. Since this canceled, I can write it in a simplified form. It's just negative y squared plus y over 2. So that was a bit complex, but all you're doing is multiplying negative y over 2 times the divisor then subtracting it as usual. Okay, so I need to go ahead and bring down this next term. So last time I subtracted, I ended up with negative y squared, bring down the zero y, and now I have to subtract negative y squared plus y over two. That's the same as adding the opposite. My y squareds cancel. This is just 0y, so all I have is negative y over 2. Bring down the 6. That's plus 6. Now, I've got negative y over 2. I'm going to come right over here and divide that. That's negative y over 2 divided by 2y. Well, recall that if, if you think of it like this, negative y over 2 divided by 2y. What you're really going to do is multiply by the reciprocal. So that's negative y over 2 times 1 over 2y, which is going to give you 
the y's will cancel. It's just going to give you negative one-fourth. So that's negative one-fourth up here. Okay, now I need to multiply that times 2y minus 1. And that's actually going to come out to negative y over 2 plus 1 fourth. And you can see that negative 1 fourth times 2y, the 2 is going to cancel. You're going to end up with negative y over 2. And then negative 1 fourth times negative 1 is going to give you positive 1 fourth. Negative you're subtracting, so you're adding the opposite. That means the y over 2 terms cancel out, which is going to leave you with 6 minus 1 fourth. 6 minus 1 fourth is 5 and 3 quarters. So the remainder is 5 and 3 quarters. So I'm going to write that up here. So this is a very long, complex problem. We first had some missing terms we had to account for. And then we had division that involved a dividend with five terms. Each time you simply divide the term by 2y, write your answer up here, multiply what you get times 2y minus 1, and subtract. This is what's left. Bring down the next term. Again, divide. Write down what you get from that division. Multiply. Subtract. Here's what's left. Bring down the next term. And continue to do that until you're left with either nothing or a remainder. And the quotient is 2y cubed plus y squared minus y over 2 minus 1 fourth with the remainder of 5 and 3 fourths. So that concludes this lesson of educator.com. Thank you for visiting.